Hello everyone, welcome to happymath.com. So this time we're gonna find out the variance and the standard deviation using the frequency table. So throughout my previous video, you know how to construct the um, frequency table. So I continue using the same table and then I'm gonna find out variance and the standard deviation of this data. Okay, so on the frequency table, to process to find the variance and the standard deviation, so you need to find out the midpoint first. So midpoint means the average value between the lower limit and upper limit. So what do you do? The grid is blank, equal, equal sign, and don't forget to make the parentheses and lower limit plus upper limit and you close the parentheses and divide by 2. Then this will be the midpoint for this first class here. Now you do you do the exactly same calculation for second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth classes but simply you click this value again and just click here and then highlight them down here. Then it will calculate the midpoint value automatically. It is because we are copying the same calculation to between second and sixth classes anyway. That's the reason. Now, what I want to do, I'm going to do midpoint times the frequency. So those are midpoint value. And you are multiplying each midpoint times each frequency value f here. So click and equal sign and this midpoint multiply frequency enter. Okay. And then you do the exactly same thing. Then the last column is midpoint squared times frequency. So what do you do? Just click equal sign midpoint and shift number six button and you will get this par sign here and square and multiply frequency and then enter and now you do the same thing like a uh, uh, last of the two columns okay all right, so the following step is now you're going to find out sum of the frequency column and m time frequency column and m square time frequency column here. So click and now on top part here, do you see all the sum? Okay, if you don't see that, then please click home button and look at on the right side, then you will see all the sum button. And click that. And you usually calculate this range here. Then please enter. The same thing here, or sum, enter. Also here, or sum, enter. Okay. Now, using those three columns, now we can calculate um, variance and standard deviation. So these are formula of the variance and the standard deviation. So variance notation s squared equal to sum of m squared times f, which means this value, minus sum of m times f squared, which is this one square over m, which is 30, uh, over m minus 1. There will be 30 minus 1 here. And after finding the variance, and I'm going to square root of that, then I can find the, the standard deviation. Okay. I'm going to make title here, variance. So that equal to, now as you see, we have the fraction value, which means we have the numerator, and denominator basically. So what I want to do, I'm going to make a numerator factor or calculation using the parentheses. So open it, 
Now, the sum of the m squared times f, which is this one. So, this value, n minus. Now, another fraction here, which means you must use fraction one more time. So, sum of the square, which means this one value square. So, what I want to do, this one, shift number six, square, and divide by, so, 30 here, 30, and close that, just numerator, and divide by, open the parenthesis, okay, now, 30, 30, minus 1, close that, okay, then, that's your the variance, all right, then, the standard deviation, So that equal to square root of that, right? So I'm going to do clear this value with the chip number six, open the parenthesis. Square root means, in other words, one over two power. So I'm, I'm going to put one over two power. The enter. Then there will be your standard deviation. Make sense? Yeah. So, so we found the variance and 41.21379 and the standard deviation 6.419797 like that. Okay, so that's all how to find uh, the variance and the standard deviation using the frequency table.